All right, this is an easy one. Just hold your Apple Pencil like this, so, and clap your hands. And it's gone. And as soon as you clap your hands again, it's back. Well, that's an easy one. I have even something more exciting, which is actually the new iPad OS 14 update coming this year. And I have the beta already installed and I checked out the scribble feature. And this will, my friends, change everything. If you follow this channel, then you know that I'm talking a lot about digital note-taking. And I love digital note-taking and there are so many things that you can do with the Apple Pencil and the iPad. If you haven't subscribed, do it now. Do it. Do it. Because if you are already following this channel, then you know that I showed you some handwriting keyboards. All right? This will actually replace your keyboard with a field where you can write in. That was already some improvements that we could use to use the Apple Pencil in any situation. And as you know, I have an iPad Pro here with a Sugo case, so there's no keyboard attached. I wasn't happy about the Magic Keyboards that I reviewed recently, and I don't want to carry around my Bluetooth keyboard. But every now and then, I have to write some type text. So there are the options to go into my note-taking app of choice, like Notejerf, Notability, GoodNotes, Nebo, you name it, and you write in there handwriting and convert it to type text copy it, paste it into your email. This is the past. Because with the new Scribble feature that we will get in iPad OS 14 will change everything because you will be able to write in any text field with your Apple Pencil. So this means that I never need a keyboard again. Now you can use Evernote and handwrite in there. Let me show you. So that's a new note in Evernote. And all I have to do is to start writing. I don't need this keyboard here. I can just keep writing. You see, it's working. In Evernote, the handwriting was always awful. If you use the Apple Pencil in Evernote, it was awful. So that's the reason why I never recommended it if you want to make, take notes with the Apple Pencil. So what about the handwriting note-taking apps now? Let's go to Notejerf, one of my favorite note-taking apps, especially when it comes to using a digital journal. So if you don't know what a digital journal is, it is actually an interactive PDF file that you can import into note-taking apps like Notejerf, Notability, GoodNotes. You can jump around between the months and day views and things like this. And you now can actually create your very own digital journal with you for your own needs with the new Digital Journal Designer that we provide. If you're interested in this, just go to the link below. But now I want to show you how this works. So let's say we go to a day view. We were able to start writing, okay? And the normal way was just to select this text and say we want to convert it, all right? And it was converting everything. I don't see the reason why we shouldn't use note-taking apps any longer because it's not all about the handwriting in the note-taking apps. Obviously, you maybe want to have a nice headline, nicely written and have it like this. All right, now we have this, just we put it on the other side. We delete this one and bring it up here. See, that's just how awesome note-taking apps still work. And now I just tap to the text icon that I never used actually in note-taking apps and I tap here and I can start writing and to make it easier for you to see I will make it bigger I make this one bigger and start writing okay and you see it's working this this and you see I can Right, keep writing this and now you see I made a mistake here so how do we delete this it's just scribbling through it's gone and I want to add something in between and they have a really nice solution you just tap and hold here and it will jump downwards and I write the word I want to have in between and it adds this and puts it back that's awesome that's awesome and I also can just swipe up and swipe down. If you're using Nebo, the note-taking app, a lot of these um, gestures are very familiar to you. Um, but I really like the way they had the solution to add something in between by, you know, rearranging stuff. And that's how it looks like. It works perfectly. And now how to select text. 
I just have to strike this through or you know select it like this you can you can just strike the whole thing through and you will select the whole text so this means it's even easier to select text now let's see how what I mean so let's say we have something like this I can just simply here go here strike this through and select whatever I want it is so easy now to select even this small word here it's selected that's awesome isn't it so I can really you know Say I want to have this color, for example, I copy it and paste it somewhere. Isn't that awesome? That's so precise now with the Apple Pencil to even navigate inside your text. Let's go to Word to figure that out. All I have to do is strike this through, write Word. And I have the Word app here. So I realized in Word, however, it's not working yet, all right? So I can only select the way we are used with the finger, and um, but I can't write anything in Word. So obviously in Microsoft Word, for example, they need to update their app, their app so it in order to make it function as well. Um, it, it might be the reason for the way it, the Apple Pencil works in Word, because usually um, there's an option that you can select where you start drawing as soon you use your Apple Pencil automatically. And maybe this is the reason why we have some issues here. I'm sure that they will optimize as well and every app who wants to stay competitive will upgrade to the new Apple Pencil kit and will ensure that we can use our Apple Pencil in any writing apps. So last but not least, I want to show you that you also can use the Apple Pencil on forums on the web. All right, so for example, if you go to the members only forum of the Paperless Movement membership, you can simply go to, to this with your Apple Pencil tapping around and then you start reply and you can start writing in there. And there's even more space to write this. That's awesome. And it works perfectly. So you, I'm showing you this in this forum because that's the, the engine for this forum is the same as for many other websites using this kind of forum. So this is really very intuitive and I have a big field where I can start writing. You see this? It works in any text field. That's really, really nice. So what do you think about the new iPadOS 14 update, the scrib scribble feature? I know there are loads of new things like the, the widget thing here on the side and all this, but I think we saw enough about all these features in other videos. I just wanted to dive deep into the scribble feature because I think that's the most important thing coming up. I mean, of the widgets as well. However, this is this is a game changer. This will change a lot. And as I said, I'm happy that finally I can only use my iPad and the Apple Pencil and nothing else. If you like this too, let us know in the comments below what are your thoughts about this. Share it with your friends if they didn't know about this and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next video about digital note taking on the iPad Pro. See you next time.